Hey guys, it's me Cheyenne, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you can video, I'm Cheyenne, and I do some of the epicest videos ever. Okay, this is one on that one, but I couldn't, which is fine. So, today, we are doing, well, basically, I'm going to be showing you guys, um, what's a typical outfit for me, and kind of how I get dressed, that than this, and it's not... So, let's get right into it. So, I'm going to pick out an outfit and, yeah. So, um, I, the outfit I'm picking out today is going to be outfit I wear the most. I was going to put it with these pants, but they're like dirty as I said before of them because I want the bed and somehow I like just fall over them at night. Don't know why. <laughs> but first off we have this sweater shirt. It's not crop or anything. It's just a red sweater shirt which is so adorable. And then I have this undershirt to go with it and these leggings. So that's today's outfit. So yeah. Oh yeah. So this is the look. I you know that. So this is the look. Um sorry. Um I obviously I'm wearing the black sweater. This is my favorite shirt I own. It is so adorable. With the plaid pants. They're not my favorite, but I love leggings, like, I really love leggings so much, I have probably three pairs of jeans, yeah, three, and I have ten pairs of pants, so if you do the math, let's see, so my pairs of my pants, all leggings, I'm insane, anyways, let's do my hair, Well. So I said, I don't know what she wanted, it's kind of cool, but I'm going to get my hair brush, and I'm going to brush it. Yay! So I have this purple hair brush here. So, you're going to brush your hair. And by the way, I got these rings for Mama, and this sweater for Mama, if you're wondering. Yes, you want to look like me for a day. Brush your hair. And I'll see you when I'm done brushing my hair. I just wanted to thank you guys for 57 subscribers. That is awesome. I mean, it's not 100k, but it's still awesome for someone that has no clue what she's doing. Like, I have no clue how to do YouTube. How to do YouTube. But thank you guys so much. That's half of 100. So, you guys are awesome. So, I feel about time to brush in my hair. It looks all smooth. So, oh, there's a tangle. No, tangles. Oh, oh. Loud, like no tangles, and no other hair on this. Um, so you want to do your hairband? I honestly have no clue what style I'm gonna do. <laughs> I'm kidding. Well, I'm actually gonna do my hair when I'm done with my makeup. So, we're putting it up because for now this isn't the style. Just like, put it up, add your face, clip it, something. You got. Makeup time. So high on the chimney tonight. Okay. Alright. So I put a lot of my makeup in here. A lot. And now. Okay. I'm going to have to look with what I have. Because I don't know where all my makeup is. Funny God knows what reason. But, first I'm gonna start with this beauty blender. It was blue. But, this is one dollar at the Dollar Tree. That's where I got it. 
and then my foundation. Don't come for me. Like, no one come for me, okay? Don't. This is my foundation. Um, it's one dollar the dollar store, and it's Color Mates. It's one of those compact things, but that's what I use. I have two. Don't come for me. Wait, don't come for me. I think I have everything on this tree. I don't know. I think I have it all, except for a couple items. So let's get right into this. I start by just putting that foundation on. I thought this was gonna be a really short video, but it seems like it's coming the wrong way, I guess. And then I need a meal or something. Give me a meal. It's not like it. <laughs> and I dab, dab, dab. Yeet that makeup over there. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna eat it. Like, who am I? Like, who am I? You're gonna eat it. <laughs> like, I'm not crazy. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> that was so weird. <laughs> Don't come for me the way I do my foundation. Like, don't come for me. No beauty gurus out there come for me. Like, don't. Just don't. You might be watching this because you think I know how to do makeup. I don't. Like, I don't. I don't know how to do makeup. So, you guys are like, oh my gosh, your makeup looks so good. It was gorgeous. I'm like, sweetheart, no, it doesn't. But thank you. I love it. Like, you flatter me. But no, it doesn't. I should not foundation on my eyelashes. Oh my god, where's my mascara? I'm gonna scream right now. Like, I'm gonna scream. I just had it up there. I will scream. Like, literally, I would probably scream. So, let's get right into it. And you guys might be able to tell, but I do have a little mustache in one of my family. Right here, so I cover it up with foundation. And like any zits or anything I have, I also cover up with that foundation. And I'm going backwards because I still need more foundation. I'm always flattered. No, flattered. I'm so weird. Like, you can skip that part. Now it's time to pat, pat, pat. I feel like a story time would be good because a lot of people do that. So, let's tell a story time. Why don't we? I'm thinking of a juicy, funny story time. Okay, let's start story time. I have one. So, um, this was like a year ago. A year ago. So, I had a boyfriend. His name was... Let's say his name was Tom. It wasn't. I swear to God, I can promise it wasn't. Because I'm not going to say his name on YouTube. But let's say his name was Tom. Um, I had a huge crush on me. He had a huge... I had a huge crush on him. He had a huge crush on me. I think... I honestly don't know. But... Um, he came to my house one day. Um, and we're hanging out. Him and his bubble, let's say his bubble's name was... 
Let's say his name, his Bubba's name was, got this from the doll show. Um, got this from the doll show. Uh, that's not his name. Let's say his name was, I'm trying to think. So I'm bad at boy names. So like I can do a cool name like that. Let's say his, his Bubba's name was Edward. So Tom and Edward came over. And they were having, like, they were making math problems for each other to, that they had to solve. So they didn't meet. And they made the bet, me and my friends call it the bet. When we tell the story time, it's called the bet because it's how it all started. Anyways, um, uh, God. I can't think. Um, they were like, if you, if you um, answer this math problem late, you, sorry, Tom would go on a date with me. So I was like, okay, because I'm great at math. They asked me the easiest run in the book. Two plus two is like four. And then they got upset because I got it right. I'm like, what am I in kindergarten? Or something? Like, God, do I not know two plus two? Do I look stupid? Because obviously I do. Obviously I do. Anyways, they got it right. But my mom was at work, so I couldn't go on no day until until um my mom got home. My aunt, let's say my aunt's name was. Ab, Ab, Abby. So Aunt Abby, that sounds so weird. Anyways, Aunt Abby like told me that she would talk to my mom when she got home. So my mom comes home and me seen and they talked outside. Tom come comes to me and he was like, your mom said, and my mom said, what? You can't go on the day. And I was, mm. he's like, JK! And I like, anyways, we started to be officially boyfriend and girlfriend, and yeah, but the story isn't over. The story isn't over yet. So the date plan, right, the date day was going to be January 1st and it was like November or something close to Christmas that's for sure and I had his phone number I texted him daily everything I had a huge crush on him like he was like my boyfriend like my friends would be like true for there at school and I'd be like they'd be like true do you have a boyfriend like yeah and I'm gonna admit it like I was happy that he was my boyfriend and to March 2020 I figured out that like, he likes another girl. And I'm like, okay. And we broke up. He wasn't that good of a boyfriend. Then. Anyway, every time he'll come over, I'd be like, can I hang out with you? And he'd be like, no, tomorrow. Oh, no, tomorrow. No, I'm really busy today. How are you busy playing soccer when you get to see your friends every other day except for your girlfriend? Like, come on, kid. Come on. Step up your game here. And it's fine, like I'm over the bet. I'm over the breakup. I'm over it all. Yeah, it's just something in the past and usually the breakup would make me cry. I cried aware of it. That's it. Cause he was uh trashy boyfriend. Like if you're watching this, you know who you are. If you're watching this it's true. Like, it's true. But, where I am now, I am in a better place, and it's all behind them. So, I still have to do lip gloss and eyeshadow, so I'm going to tell another story time. So, this story time was recent. Um, 
So basically, I was um out there walking on a um I was walking on a jet for the bus and we were waiting. The bus was like we were at twenty kind of twenty minutes early, so I was like, okay, this is fine. And they were like running around and stuff. So I'm walking and everything, and I trip. But I don't just trip. I straight up, like, literally trip and trust my ankle. Um, and even if it's just a flaw. I mean, I hurt my foot this bad before. So I didn't do it. I didn't think any of it. I didn't think anything of it until I needed them to help me get up, which never happens. I always help myself up. So if I need someone else to help me up, it's like, So, um, they helped me up and they're like, are you okay? I'm like, I'm fine, I'm fine, don't worry about me, worry about you, like, I'm fine. Because whenever asks me, someone, whenever someone asks me, are you alright, are you fine, like, are you okay? I'm like, I'm, I'm fine, thank you. That flatters me, but thank you. Because that's just how I am, like, I'm like, I don't want someone to feel bad for me. Like, I just don't. I feel bad when someone feels bad for me. Does that make sense? I hope it does. Because I do. Like, I will apologize 15 million times, straight up. And I will feel bad if you feel bad for me. Like, don't feel bad for me, because I will feel bad. I feel like it's my fault that you feel bad for me. I don't know why, I just felt. Anyways. Um. They helped me up, and they were still waiting for the bus and everything. So, my foot hurt so bad, a tap, like a... I was screaming. It hurt that bad. And like, I could barely walk. I had to hold on to them or something. Or hop. Which wasn't easy. So, 20 minutes later, 10, 20 minutes later, the bus comes. And I was like, I can stay home from school today. It's fine. And I'm like, no, no, no. You go to school. You do you. It's fine. I got it. I was like, no, I got it, it's fine, you're good, like, you're, it's fine. Anyways, um, they get on the bus, and I'm having, like, trouble. My aunt and grandma are in Portland at this point. It's Tuesday, last week. Yeah, Tuesday, last week, they were in Portland. Um... So, um, like, I couldn't, like, scream for her or something because, like, she wasn't there. So, then I'm trying to hop and hold on to things outside, which isn't very easy. Um, because at this point I'm holding on to, like, porches and buildings. Yeah. Um, and hopping. So, um... I saw a package, and since we live in a real neighborhood, my aunt always wants me to pick up a package that's outside. So I'm like, okay, I'm fine with that. It's cool with me, and cool with her. So I was going to pick up the package. I had to sit on the porch, off front porch. The problem is, I had a problem getting up without hurting my foot or anything, more than it already hurt. Um, Anyways, um, uh, Kayla sees me for the window, and she's like, are you okay, what's wrong, and everything, I'm like, I'm fine, and I'm like, Ashley, could you come out here and help me, and she's like, yeah, no problem, what happened, I was like, I'll just explain it to you when you come, because I, like, I really need help, and she's like, okay, I'm coming, and she comes. And she's like, okay, so what happened? I was like, I was walking with Ian and DJ and I told her and everything. What happened? And she helped me and everything. It was so, it was so sweet of her. So then I get in the house and everything. And to be honest, this was Tuesday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. 
my calculus. <laughs> this little weak corner slots. Like, what did I do to my foot? It was like bleeding and everything, and it hurts. Like, I don't know what I did to it, dude. Like, I don't know. But thank you guys for watching and hearing two of my crazy story times. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. And comment down below if you want me to do makeup routines and stuff like that more. Hold up, we're not done. We got the way I got the stone in the messy man. Okay, now we're done. I hope you guys enjoyed. Like, subscribe and hit that notification button. And thank you so much for 57 subscribers. That's like awesome. Thank you. I love you guys. Bye.